Guys, let's see how to manage query parameters using API Gateway. Using query parameters, we can submit a small amount of information to the servers. Let's see the demonstration in this video. In this URL bar, this is the URL and after question mark, this is the query parameter. Query parameter name and its value. In this case, right, we are submitting the region information to AWS Management Console using query parameters. Let's get started now. First, let's go and create a function which accepts query parameter, lambda function, and gets a customer details based on customer ID. First, let's go and create that function here. Runtime, let's choose Python. We have an existing role which has permissions to access all AWS services. Lambda admin role. Let's create function. The function is created. Let's write the code. This Lambda function will accept query parameter from API gateway and gets a customer information based on the query parameter value. This is a small piece of code. We're getting DynamoDB resource from resource. We are creating table object. This is the table we want to query. Using table, we're getting an item based on its primary key. Let's quickly check DynamoDB table. We are querying this table. That's what the table name we mentioned here. From this table, we want to fetch item based on customer ID. Your customer ID is the primary key. We are using Boto3 module for DynamoDB. On this table, we're calling function get item. Key represents the primary key. This we are submitting as a JSON object. This is the attribute name here this one and its value we get this customer id from api gateway via query parameter let's save this function let's quickly test this function right now here later i'll show how to integrate this function with api gateway hit test Some meaningful name. Let's pass this information here. The code is expecting customer ID. Let's supply the value. Let's pick one, two, three, four. Any value pass here. So create this test data and test the code. Let's expand. Can you see this? We're getting a response from the Lambda function, which takes customer ID as input and returns back the complete customer item in the table. This we want to integrate with the API Gateway. Let's do that. Let's open API Gateway in a new tab. Go ahead and create a method. This one I want it as get method. This API I want to integrate with lambda function, which is in same region. This is the lambda function. Save the details. Okay, allow permissions. We have to do two things now. First, from this method request, manage the query parameters. Let's open this query string. Let's add a query string here. So let's call this one as customer ID. You can set validation on this query string parameters. Let's see those details in next video. For now, I want to just add one query parameter to this API gateway method. Let's get back. When you hit test, you can pass query parameters here, like this. 
customer ID equals any customer ID you want to pass. This information needs to be sent to Lambda function, but we need to do some other configuration for this. That configuration is in integration request. In integration request, we need to update mapping templates, take data from that query parameter, pass it as a JSON object to the Lambda function. For that, let's add one content type. Meaning, if client is submitting request to this API with content type as application slash JSON, this template is used. Okay, let's say let's secure that. Take data from query string and convert that into a object the way we did in testing this lambda function. Like this. So this is okay, but this we need to pick from the query string, query parameter. Let's do that. API Gateway supports a velocity templating language using that syntax from parameters. We are picking up a parameter with this name. While hitting this URL, we are going to pass this parameter and that is taken and that value is assigned to this customer ID. This JSON object is sent to this Lambda function here. From that, we are taking customer ID and we are fetching customer details and returning it back. So let's save this. Get back to test customer ID and let's test the code from here first. See, we got response from which accepts customer ID via event object. If you see the URL here, right? This is the path after that a question mark, query parameter name and its value. Likewise, we can pass multiple query parameters and those things can be transformed into a JSON object before passing it to Lambda function. So now I want to deploy this API, get the endpoint. Let's use Postman to test the same code. Go to Actions, deploy this API. Unless you guys deploy this API, you won't get the URL to access it from the clients. Let's deploy to a dev environment and deploy that. After that, choose your method, which is get. This is the URL. Let's copy this. Let's test this one from Postman. So let's create a new URL. This is get, obviously. Why this? Let's pass the query parameter customer ID the three four and send the request see that we got the response from API gateway this is how we manage query parameters using API gateways thank you